How you doing, backers? Okay, so um, for t for today's cooking session, I am going to uh, showcase how to make a risotto. Right now, it's up to you what you put into the risotto. Uh, the uh, options are almost endless. But what I'm doing is a uh, squid risotto today. So of course uh, you need some squid rings. Um, for this I'm, I've chose to do some squid rings. Um, okay so um, also uh, 280, I mean 200 grams of uh, butter. Um, okay. Um, 180 uh, grams of uh, freshly grated uh, cheese um, okay and um, you know did I mention 200 grams of butter um, and uh, one chopped uh, one finely chopped um, onion which I'll put in later on um, and uh, some salt and pepper and uh, 800 grams of uh, of uh, risotto rice uh, okay and uh, also some salt and pepper to the taste and uh, also some seasoning and you also need some stock um, which um, I've put to the simmer. Um, okay, um, all done. Basically, you need three liters of this stuff for stock. This is a fish stock from Nor, by the way. Okay, so uh, you really do need to uh, let uh, the stock uh, be brought to a simmer. Um, this is uh, the pan where you're cooking uh, the risotto. Uh, needs to be right next to the stock as well right so next uh, in the heavy bottomed uh, pan you need to uh, put half of the butter in uh, like uh, so as a healthier option you can put olive oil in but um, I wouldn't recommend it because uh, it can easily burn the pan, uh, the bottom of the pan. But I found out uh, uh, when I first started uh, cooking. So uh, what you do is um, let uh, the butter melt. Like so. Absolutely, the butter totally, absolutely melt. Right now, you uh add uh, the chopped onions into uh, the molten butter. Right now I've added uh, the, the chopped onions into the melted butter. I'm going to stir until they have softened. Now I'm uh, adding uh, rice, um, the rice uh, to the mixture. Okay, so uh, it's really important that you uh, now stir as hard as you can, really. Otherwise, the rice will stick to the pan. 
and it's really hard uh, to uh, wash off. Right, okay, now I'm going to add in uh, the squid. Um, they've been defrosted, so um, it, it should, uh, when you eat it, um, give a nice uh, beachy, um, beachy uh, kick to it uh, when you finally eat it. So I'm adding in uh, the squid and uh, the liquid it was defrosted in, the frozen liquid, and, uh, and stir. Okay, so uh, now I'm uh, going to, s to slowly, very gradually, uh, add uh, some of uh, add the stock to it. Uh, you need to do soak the risotto and stuff, and do this very slowly while con yeah, and while doing this, continue mixing. Right, you need to to um, continue this procedure until the nut rice is nearly tender. Now, okay, so what uh, what the trick is is um, with risotto, you don't want the rice too soft, nor do you want it uh, to to uh, tough. Okay, as uh, that's how additionally it's made in Italy. Right, after about uh, 20 minutes, um, uh, add the other half of the, the butter. Okay. And um, half of the uh, uh, half of the uh, grated cheese. <coughs> these and stir these in like uh, so. Derbies in like so. Right, okay, so uh, what you need to do now is a uh, Put some seasoning in. A little, uh, I'm using some Italian seasoning. And uh, here is the consistency you are looking for. Okay, after that, this needs to rest for a good few minutes. Right, so uh, this should be the end result. Uh, that should really be Parmesan cheese, uh, but it's a grated cheddar cheese because I didn't have any, so, um, okay. Now basically remember one thing, that you can add whatever you want to risotto, the, the options are endless, you can add stuff like shrimps, lamb, uh, king prawns, even assorted seafood, anything you want to, uh, okay, basically, and chicken, uh, you can add that as well. Okay, so, if you enjoyed the video and want more recipes, uh, the, uh, I'll leave uh, instructions of how to cook it in the description. Um, basically, uh, the instructions are for chicken this October, but, um,
like a uh, do not forget to subscribe to me uh, okay so um, also check out my uh, my um, my um, uh, main channel and um, okay do remember want to learn to cook and work thing or and don't forget to uh, suggest to me uh, more stuff uh,